Oh, sorry, I didn't see that. That is totally awkwardly random. I was just listening to my audiobook. And I heard that you want to get into more audiobooks, and I have some great recommendations for you. Okay, let's get into them. Why did that just feel very, very cringe? Anyways, okay, let's get actually into it. I'm so excited. Hi guys, okay, as you saw in the intro, today I will be talking about my favorite audiobooks like getting you guys into audiobooks i feel like audiobooks have been really popular in the last few months just because spotify put out audiobooks as well as podcasts and music so i feel like that got a lot of people into audiobooks but i've been obsessed with audiobooks for now over a year been listening to them non-stop but like i actually looked and like looked how many audiobooks i've been listening to and it was over 130 audiobooks so i think I'm very qualified to give you some audiobook recommendations and yeah, I'm excited. First of all, I want to talk about how I listen to audiobooks personally. Um, I'm from Germany, I live in Germany, so it's really hard to listen to English audiobooks. So for all my German people out there, book beat. I think that is basically the only way to listen to English audiobooks as a German person because I'm doing that as well. And it's great and it's like nine euros per month but it has like a 30 or 60 days period of like tryouts and you can listen to like a certain period of hours per month which is actually really good so i love that i also listen via audible but that's mainly my mom and dad who using that like if i'm like really in the need of an audiobook like i need it right right now then i use audible but you only get one credit each month and it's like ugh. Not that great, I feel like personally. And then what I love to use is my library card that I actually got in America, so I feel like that's a little specific. But yeah, um, I lived in Santa Barbara, went to the library there, got my library card, <laughs> still have it, <laughs> love it so much. Probably my one of my prized possessions because with that I use the app Libby, and it's great. And I get all my audiobooks basically from there, like ninety percent. But you do have to like place a hold on the audiobooks for quite a while sometimes. Sometimes you I, they are available right now and sometimes you have to wait like a few weeks, but like that's fine. So I love Libby. And then you also have Hoopla, which is I can't use on my phone because it's a German phone and it is only available for American phones. <sighs> Sorry, very annoying. So I can listen to that on my laptop. So it's like really if I'm like desperate and they have like some popular books but like the it's not a big variety I personally feel like and then there's obviously Spotify but that's also only available I think in America and like England or I don't know the countries exactly but it's not Germany so hate that but yeah those are all the ways I get audiobooks personally I don't know where there are many more ways sometimes they're on YouTube but very rarely but that's it. Um, I think you can also obviously listen with a German library, but then the books are probably going to be in German. I actually haven't looked into that because I don't think my <laughs> library in Germany would have a great variety of German books. So yeah, let's get into the actual audiobook racks. I have my Notion page right here, which has like all the book racks. And I got a new camera, so if you see a difference, let me know if that's exciting. But yeah, so I've like made like a list and like different categories of like memoirs because my favorite type of audiobooks are definitely memoirs by far. Then books narrated by multiple narrators because I love that so much when like each person has a different voice and there are multiple POVs. So good. Then I have just books that are great as an audiobook. And then I also have my favorite narrators. And then I have British narrators because I love good British accent, accent and I love listening to an audiobook and then getting a surprise that is actually British, so yes. 
and let's get into it i am so excited and yeah let's start off with memoirs that are actually narrated by the same author like narrated by the author and the first one that i absolutely love and like is probably my favorite is friends lovers and the big terrible thing by matthew perry narrated by matthew perry chandler bing <laughs> from friends and it is a very sad memoir just because he died and that is very sad especially because in his audiobook or like memoir he was saying that he feels so much better and his life is like on the up move after his struggle with alcoholism and drug abuse for like years and he was finally like getting better and then he died so that is very sad but his jokes in it are really good like it is giving Chandler in so many ways and I just absolutely love it then the second memoir I absolutely love is I'm glad my mom died I'm actually listening to it right now but it's a reread so I've read it and I'm listening to it because I've heard the audiobook so so good and it truly is things I love about it is that it has 90 chapters like the chapters are literally so short which is just amazing it's narrated so good like Jeanette McCurdy great and also it is um she wrote it in a very interesting way because I feel like a lot of memoirs are like when I was seven years old I went through this and it had that effect on me and it made me that type of person and I know now that it was really bad because of that you know which is totally fine but Jeanette McCurdy is more like I am now seven years old and I do this and this and I'm trying to please my mom and like I that and that and like I go to that and that audition and stuff like that like she's really like in the moment I felt like if that makes any sense and it's so cool to like read because you're listening to like a little child basically talking you're like oh my goodness I just want to hug you and save you but you can't <sighs> and yeah it's a very upsetting story because her mom was basically abusive but it's a really good memoir then the next one that has won in multiple awards for the audiobook actually is Finding Me by Viola Davis this one was like a new audiobook that I listened to pretty recently okay <laughs> sorry my battery just died but I was talking about Viola Davis mm, audio memoir which is Finding Me and personally I really enjoyed it I haven't listened to it yet for like quite a while because I love listening to memoirs by people I know and I didn't think I knew Viola Davis but like I've heard such great reviews and then I was like obviously I have to listen to it and then I actually recognized her voice crazy I didn't recognize her face from the cover but her voice from how to get away with murders she was like the main character the main actor I don't know yeah you know she was the main person and I watched that love it so I knew her actually so that was fun but yeah her audiobook was mainly I feel like about her growing up very 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 poor like it might be like ooh, no no like she was really really poor um and it was so so sad to listen to but really interesting and she was also talking a lot about racism in the like actor branch or like performing branch I don't, I don't know the word I'm gonna put it here but yeah, that was very interesting to learn about because I obviously don't know anything about that but super good really really great then I listened to the audiobook by Lauren Graham who is the main character in Game of Girls Lorelai Gilmore love her love her voice I love that like he's one of my comfort characters and then hearing her voice again is just something else and yeah her audiobook was very short like four hours long short essays but super fun like genuine like she was in Gilmore Girls she was that in the memoir so really good and then I also listened to the um, memoir by Tom Felton which is Beyond the Wand which talks a lot about Harry Potter which I personally love but it's a little bit more niche I feel like but yeah so super fun super interesting and a really good audiobook and then I also listened to the memoir by Brittany Beers the woman in me but that is not narrated by her personally which I think is a little bit sad because I would have loved that 
and I feel like it makes it also more personal but it's fine it's okay and what I also didn't like love about that audiobook is that it's just five hours long so it's like really 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 short and you don't get that many details but like it's her story her life whatever she gives us is fine so yeah really good audiobook as well now let's get into audiobooks narrated by multiple people and that is first of all and i feel like the most popular one is daisy jones and the sex it is so good i read the book then i listened to the book and then i read the book so it's done it all and the audiobook is just something else it literally feels like you're listening to like a movie or tv show because every single person has a different voice and then the different people when they like talk like not like chapter wise it's a different character like, like sentence wise it's a new character so it's just really fun to listen to and i would definitely recommend if you haven't already done that 10 out of 10 and then also which was so fun because i love rereading books in audiobook form one of my favorite things so i listened to the alice and the alice paradox again and each has had also a different narrator and different like accents because for example Tristan is from the UK and Nico and Libya from the US so everybody had just different accents and that was really really fun and I would definitely recommend listening to those books especially when it talks about like all the physics stuff and like when that character doesn't you don't love that much appears like yeah I just can just like listen to it and then when Nico appears I can just read it what I did <laughs> so yeah and then the one of us is lying one of us is back and one of us is dead or something one of us is next so one of us is lying one of us is next and one of us is back I think it's a trilogy but yeah those are all narrated by different people and it's super fun and super interesting because it's what a very fun thriller vibes time with him and then we also have the Triku, which is a little bit random, but yeah, just two different people. They are obviously multiple books to have different people, but yeah, that was one of them. It's also like Divine Ravels has multiple, but I haven't listened to the book. Uh, Power Limit by Lauren Roberts has different people, multiple PVs, multiple narratives, yeah, I think that made sense. But yeah. okay, let's get into some books that are just like right as audiobooks. Personally, I love listening to historical fiction and thrillers and normal lit fic as audiobooks. Don't love romance just because it can get a little bit awkward if you're listening to like a spicy scene. I'm just like skip, skip, skip because it's like, you know, imagine you're listening to that in the gym. Like, no. So that's just what I personally love. And especially like, I don't know, I don't love historical fiction like as a real book. But like, as an audiobook, it's just super interesting and very educational, I feel like, so love that. But the first one is The Frozen River, which I also recently read, and it was great because it is a sort of fiction, and just super interesting, and you get through it very quickly, and it is a great, great, great storyline about a very tough woman, and the voice was great, so would definitely recommend listening to that one. And then we have Bear Town, which I really, really recently listened to. And I have like 5% left of Us Against You. And the voice of the narrator was just really, really calming. And she pronounced all the names really good. And I just really enjoyed my time rereading that one as well as an audiobook. Then we have um, all the Renegades book series. like. Renegades, Arch, Enemies, and Supernova because the beginning of each book has a very fun intro of like super of like superhero like music kinda. It's giving Marvels. Marvel. It's giving Marvel and I love that so so much. And also it has multiple POVs and multiple narratives between the female main character and the male main character. So that was really good. Then I loved loved Sadie as an audiobook because it is an audiobook and in the book there's a podcast and the podcast for each person there's a different narrator for example if the podcast host interviews something the 
person who gets interviewed has a different voice narrator and that's just fantastic I feel like and the story was also really really good so would definitely recommend especially as an audiobook then I have Take My Hand which is another historical fiction book and I absolutely loved it um it was very educational about women's cons cons con contraception <laughs> in the 1970s especially about poor people and black people and very sad stuff that happened in them that time and especially because it is based on true events i feel like it is like a must read like you should really really read that book and it's just really really good and the narrator voice was so good then i have a few thrillers that i personally absolutely loved that were a little bit different i feel like and that was my lovely wife because it's basically about a wife and a husband and they turn into zero killers to spice up their marriage but then something else goes wrong and just goes from there and it's really interesting and really great and loved it actually loved it so interesting so different and then we also have you which is the netflix show is based on that novel which i didn't even know existed and that one is so interesting because it is based on the POV of obviously, um, what's the guy's name? Joe something. And basically, that book is narrated like he's watching you, like you are washing the dishes, you are reading a book, you are going to your job. And when you're listening to it, it's like really like he's talking to you, and it's like so scary but so interesting and exciting at the same time. So I would definitely recommend listening to it. Listening to it if you're like wanting a little bit more thrilling book. Because like when you're alone, listen to it in the darkness, it can get very, very, very scary. And I'm speaking from personal experience. I'm just a very help me. And then we have meant to be, which is a very good romance book about the Kennedys, basically like a retelling of them, kind of, and I personally didn't know anything about the Kennedys, but it was so, so interesting, and I think again, multiple narrators and great narrators, narrators, loved it, loved it, 10 out of 10, would only recommend, again, so like educational, but in a very fun way, yeah. Now we have Dial A for Aunties, which I put on there because the storyline um, is about four aunties and her and their niece and they are all from Indonesia, Indonesia, Indonesia and living now in America but they still have an accent and the narrator also had an accent and I just found that so interesting because you know I live in Germany I don't hear a lot about her a lot of Indonesian English accent but yeah I really enjoyed hearing that and yeah, getting more educated because we never learned that in school and I feel like it's really important, you know? So, we would definitely recommend it. It was so funny. Like, I was on a walk listening to that and I was laughing out loud because it was so funny. So, would definitely recommend that one. Then with the Gun Club, which is again so funny and heartwarming and you just laugh out loud. Which I love. I love it. Then we have Eleanor other than it's completely fine again so heartwarming and funny but such a great story and i don't know if i would have loved it as much as i did if it would have been like a reading book because then maybe i would have gotten more bored but because it was an audiobook i was just like listening to it doing something else and it was just super interesting and i never got bored of it and the plot was the mum really got me and i still think about eleanor and like so sad so so sad but yeah then we have 28 summers or anything of ellen hilbert especially for summer it is so good the narrator is amazing the storyline is great and i personally love her roles and as an only rogue as well but yeah then we have the martian which is a very a li which is a little bit different of an audiobook but i listened to that for school because we had to read the book and i was like a little bit if you was gonna like it, so I listened to it, and it was great. 
it was so funny the narrator who spread his voice was just really good to listen to honestly and it is a science fiction book about an astronaut astronaut being stuck on mars so like not my personal preference of books if you couldn't tell but it was so interesting and yeah and i feel like if you read the book you might be getting a little bit bored again with the science stuff but because it's an audiobook it makes it more interesting and again i laughed so many times because the humor in the book was actually great like mark watney such a funny person honestly such a funny character and then the last book i'm gonna name in that character category is thank you for listening by julia villan because it is about an audiobook narrator falling in love with another audiobook narrator in an audiobook which is very like meta i feel like but so good and the author is actually also an audiobook narrator so it was just very fun and i love julia Whelan's audiobooks she's the first person on my third category i think of like favorite narrators her books like sometimes i just go on her like thingy and just like listen to audiobooks based because she narrated them if that makes any sense but yeah, for example, some books she narrated were The Invisible Life of Eddie LaRue, Emily Henry books, Abby Humanist books are all narrated by her, so it's great. Um, Taylor James Reid's books, all narrated by her. Chris and Hannah books, so like The Four Winds, The Great Alone, and The Nightingale are all narrated by her. And I love those books so much. And the audiobooks, like her books, I always like listen to and read at the same time because I love her audiobooks so so much. The Great Alone was the first book I read by Chris and Hannah. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it because it's historical fiction set in Alaska but it was so good it was so 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 good and I gave it five stars and it was literally an audiobook like I never give audiobooks five stars this one I did so go listen to that book because it's so good so good and yeah, The Four Winds, we got there. It's also really, really good. Yeah, the next audio narrator that I absolutely loved is Brittany Presley. And she has just a very good voice again. And books that I loved by her were All Good People Here, The Seven Year Slip, The Book of Cold Cases, so a lot of thrillers. Local Woman Missing was so good. One of my favorite thrillers of last year want to reread it so bad and then overnight guess which i recently read which is set in like a snowy town so very fitting to the winter theme and then we have erin bennett who narrates all of ellen hildebrand's books and all of riley's address books which i again love so much so these audiobooks are really good and i feel like it's so fun when you listen to an audiobook and then you listen to another audiobook and you recognize that voice and it happened to me now a few times just because i have a very big range of audiobooks that i've listened to so far so it just makes it so interesting you know and then you're like oh my goodness i know there's a voice somewhere and then you yeah it's 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 really fun it's really good so i love it and then i have some british narrators or like books by british authors that are obviously have a british voice but the first one is by Ruth Ware. All of her books are thrillers, set in the UK by British narrators, obviously, and I only listen to her books now on because it's so good. Another one is Lisa Jewell and Alice Feeney. Didn't even know Alice Feeney was British until I listened to a book by her, and it was so good. Totally obsessed, like, um, his and her. I was at the gym listening to it, and I was like, It's crazy so I love listening to thrillers because it just keeps you on the edge so yeah then we have one day in December which is a great book in December but also like all the time just because it's more like a general fiction book and not like a Christmas book and great British voices Magnolia Parks oh my god if you haven't reread Magnolia Parks with the audiobook 
you should definitely do that because it is great again multiple narrators and British and it's so good it is so so good so do that and then we also have one last gift which made me cry at the gym the only other book that could do that to me was the four winds by Kristen Hanna so that is really saying something so go listen to that book it really hit me hard but yeah those were all my audiobook recommendations I hope you enjoy them and I hope you like them and yeah go listen to an audiobook because it's so fun and it definitely comes with reading and it just makes like normal like chores so much more fun i love cleaning my room i love going to a gym i love driving because i can listen to an audiobook while doing that and i feel like it just makes me more productive and i love that and i especially love re reading books like that is <sighs> so good it's like a hug but like as an audiobook if that makes any sense um yeah i'm gonna go back to listening to us against you now as an audiobook and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope i see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>